may mga ganong sound kasi ang mahal talaga parang <gasps> look at the difference it's either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it so much so walang in between mabilis ba yung pick wow i can hear me ang galeng guys it's your tag and mary and welcome back to my channel finally guys na sa atin na nasa kamay ko na ang pinakamahal na headphones na i-review ko ngayon sa channel natin. This is the AirPods Max. I got it again from Breeze Authentics. And the sakto, pagkadating doon sa kanila, kinuha ko na siya agad-agad. Para naman, di ba, ma-review ko na rin sa inyo siya agad-agad. So, $549 ang presyo ng AirPods Max. And if in peso naman, it retails for $32,990 pesos. At kung bibili naman tayo sa mga resellers, at kung bibili naman tayo sa resellers, you'll get it for around $40,000 to $45,000 pesos. So, AirPods Max. Worth it ba talaga yung headphones na yan? Eh, parang makakabili ka na ng brand new iPhone with a reseller's price. Actually, sa so sobrang curious ko, ayaw ko siyang palagpasin. So, I got myself one. And I just saw Carlos' video. Bumili nga rin siya. And I think he got the blue one. And guys, kilala niyo naman ako. I'll always go for white. Actually, kwento ko lang mabilisan. I am opting for the black one para safe yung color. Hindi dumihin, terno sa lahat ng suot mo. And of course, for us girls, hindi siya dikitan ng makeup. So, very practical yung kulay na black. Kaso, hindi ko siya masyadong gusto. So, sabi ko sa sarili ko, since gagastos na lang din naman ako, then let's go for the color na talagang gusto ko. So, I went for the white one at ipagdasal natin na hindi siya ganun na madumihan dito sa review na to dahil again, naka-makeup ako ngayon. It comes in 5 colors, parang yung mga bagong iPhone 12 ngayon. Meron tayong space gray, silver, green, sky blue, and pink. Actually, yung pink, if makikita nyo siya sa mga videos, it looks more red than it is pink. So, let us now unbox yung pinakamahal na headphones na i-unbox ko nga dito sa channel ko sa buong buhay ko. Actually, Boss 700 yung headphones na ginagamit ko for editing and medyo may kamahalan din yun but not as expensive as this one. And yep, merong easy pull top ito dahil of course, it's an Apple product. And it's really big. Makikita nyo yung box niya kasi yung laki halos ng mukha ko. And again, I got it in the silver colorway. Let's unbox it. Feeling ko pagka binuksan ko to may parang May mga ganong sound kasi ang mahal talaga. Parang... Oh my God! May luxury ba? Kasi sabi nila ang may luxury daw, ang may mamahalin. Nag-curious okay. okay, ako. <laughs> Gusto mo mo yun? nag <laughs> ako. Actually, oo. Oh, ang may... Oh my God! Nabinyagan agad. Bumaksak. So it looks like this. Mas maganda pala siya talaga in person. Although, okay, first impressions. Yung pinaka-case niya, it looks really weird para sa akin. Para siyang handbag, para siyang clutch. Hindi ko alam. Mixed feelings. Parang mapapa... Ganun ka na lang every time na makikita mo siya na nakalagay sa kanyang pinaka-case. And it's not the most compact headphones kapag, ka, again, itatago mo siya. Kasi feeling ko hindi ito yung tipo ng headphones na for traveling. Kasi paano mo nga naman to ilalagay sa bag mo, ba? I mean, just look at it, guys. Usually, ang mga headphones, dapat ganito ang pinaka case niya. Kasi nga, syempre, you're gonna store it inside your bag. You're gonna use it for traveling. Look at the difference. It's either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it so much. So, walang in-between. And ako, para lang naman sa akin, para doon sa kanyang pinaka-case, I hate it so much. Anyway, aside for the headphones, ano pa ba ang laman ng box? Ano pa ba ang makukuha namin, Mary, for 32,990 pesos? Parang, ang sakit sa dibdib every time na sasabihin ko yung presyo. Of course, it comes with the paperwork. Unfortunately, wala po siyang kasamang Apple stickers inside. And it comes with a lightning to USB Type-C charging cable. Surprisingly, kasi I honestly thought that it's gonna be USB Type-C to USB Type-C. But then, gets ko rin kasi alam niyo naman, yung mga iPhones natin ngayon, lightning yung gamit natin, gagastos pa tayo if ever man na para red mask convenient, ba? Para hindi na tayo dalawa-dalawa yung bit-bit. Lalo na kung nasa ecosystem ka nga. So, protected pa siya ng parang pinaka-paper kasi nga, of course, 
para naman um, malinis yung headphones, di ba? First impressions. Hindi ko pa siya totally nagagamit na lagay sa ulo. Hindi ko masabi kung magaan pa siya or what. Pag-uusapan natin yan mamaya. Yung pinaka-flap niya sa harap, guys, this is actually magnet. Para kapag i-close mo siya. Well, hindi ganun ka-strong yung magnet. So, you you'll have to put a little effort on it. Oh, I didn't know silver will look this good. In fairness, it it feels very luxurious. It feels very expensive. Parang ramdam ko yung yung pera na inilabas natin dito. And it feels quite heavy. Probably because it's again made of metal. Actually, another reason why it is so expensive besides its brand name ay dahil it is made of stainless steel metal. Almost all the popular headphones like of course Sony and yung sa Boss, kahit na yun yung pinaka the best headphones nila at pinaka mahal na headphones nila, they are still all made of plastic. Which is why they are very comfortable na gamitin. And again, Apple decided to use stainless steel or metal which is very bold for them to use. So yep, Probably, isa sa pinaka magiging major complaint ko dito ay medyo mas mabigat siya than my usual use of other headphones kapag matagalan ko siyang ginamit. For like, I guess, more than 3 hours. Aside from that, meron din siya, guys, letter R and letter L para alam mo, diba, kung anong side mo siya gagamitin kasi nga, of course, right and left. And, of course, meron din siyang mesh dito. The design is very unique for me, lalo na itong top part na to. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng ganitong klase ng headphones. At, Ganito kalaki na ear cups. And speaking of that, alam nyo ba guys na itong cushion niya ay napapalitan. It's very easy to remove. Ayan, actually parang magnet lang yung nagko-connect sa kanilang dalawa. And pwede mong palitan to ng different colors from the Apple website if you feel like mixing it up. It is also available in 5 colors at it retails for 3,890 pesos again sa kanilang Apple website. So if nadumihan siya, pwedeng pwede mo naman siyang alisin and pwedeng itong linisin. Let's see guys if malilinis ko to nung favorite ko na panlinis na green water dahil nakakalinis siya ng leather. Nalinis niya rin yung headphones ko na boss. Tingnan natin kung okay rin siya dito. Mary, ano pa bang features niyan? Why do you think it cost 32,990 pesos? And then yung ear cups naman outside ay made of aluminum. And don't worry, it's a very bendy and flexible. Ayan, try natin. Kasi lalo na sa mga medyo may malalaki yung ulo. I'm saying it literally, bahala na kayo magbigay ng other meaning. Aside from that, meron din tayong digital crown na located sa ibabaw ng pinaka right ear cup wherein we can control yung volume niya. And yung size ng crown, it's a bit bigger than the crown na nakikita natin sa Apple Watch. And then, meron pa siyang isa pang button sa katabi nun. At yung katabing button niya, ito yung tinatawag na noise control button. Pwede natin siyang pilotin to switch between transparency mode or noise cancellation. Again, pwede naman natin i-adjust yung magkabila, yung left and right. Depende kasi yan sa laki ng mukha natin. Ooh. So, so, I'm currently testing guys yung kanyang ANC button kung mabilis ba yung pick. Wow! I can hear me. Ang galeg! Actually, I prefer this kind of like control. Yung meron siyang mismong physical button na pwede mong pintatin. Unlike yung ibang headphones na merong touch controls. To be honest, minsan mabagal talaga sila kahit na sobrang ganda pa ng headphones. Mas accurate at mas mabilis pa rin kapag meron siyang physical Buttons. Let's listen to music at i-connect na natin siya dito sa aking iPhone 12 mini. At first impressions, so na hindi ko pa masyadong maramdaman na mabigat siya. Hindi pa ako nangangalay as of now. Pero i-update ko kayo guys, don't worry in the future kung kaya pa siya ng pangmatagalang edit. Each cup, meron silang 40mm dynamic driver, custom built ito, which is according to Apple, designed to deliver very deep bass, accurate sound, and of course, clean high frequencies. At each ear cup ay merong H1 chip. So, tig-isa yan. For the sound quality, um, first impression pa lang to guys ha. Hindi rin ako audio file para makapag-describe ng maayos for the quality. Yes, it does sound very high-end. Kumbaga parang sa isang bag, it looks and it feels very premium. At yung sound niya, Ganun nga. Yung noise cancellation niya, it is accurate naman. Pero hindi ko pa siya masyadong matest kasi syempre hindi ko pa siya nagagamit for traveling. Mas okay sana kung sa aeroplano or kaya naman sa vacuum. But as of now, yung ANC niya, it's very comparable dito sa ginagamit ko na boss 
700. And of course, for the audio quality rin, it sounds a lot better than the AirPods Pro or the AirPods. Shepre guys, since this has literally bigger drivers, of course, the sound quality is gonna be a lot better. Now, let's talk about yung pinaka smart case niya. Actually, may dalawa akong concerns. Unang-una, exposed nga po yung pinaka headband niya or yung eto nga mesh material niya. Making it more germ magnet, dirt magnet, lalo na if this is inside your bag. And of course, yung pangalawa, hindi ko magets, it doesn't provide any protection for me. Obviously, yung ilalim, hindi naman siya ganun ka protected. Although, meron naman siyang konting space for you to charge your AirPods Max. Kaso, natatapan naman siya ng konti. Kumbaga, hindi siya saktong-sakto. And of course, yung pinaka-mesh ng pinaka-air cup niya, nakalabas din. Battery life, hindi ko pa masabi. Obviously, kasi kabubukas ko lang sa kanya ngayon. But according to some reviewers, maganda naman daw ang battery life niya. Pero syempre, i-review ko pa rin yan soon. Mary, what is your initial verdict for the AirPods Max? Do you think we should buy one? Siyempre, una sa lahat, if you want the best um, Apple audio experience, go for the best one, which is again, itong ang AirPods Max nila. And of course, yung Koshi Comfort, very pristine audio quality, at yung tinatawag na spatial audio, yung mga features pa lang na yun, it's very hard to beat. Ang hindi ko lang nagustuhan sa kanya, una, wala siyang headphone jack. Hindi mo siya pwedeng i-connect via, of of course, the wired one, if gusto nyo ng mas accurate and no latency audio. Pangalawa, wala siyang switch on and off. Kasi kapag ipapatong mo lang siya sa mesa at tapos nyo na siyang gamitin, hindi siya basta-basta magta-turn off unless ilalagay mo siya dito sa pinaka-case niya. That's why this case is called a smart case. But yeah, it sure is smart, but it looks dumb. So yeah, that is it guys for my AirPods Max unboxing and first impressions. Again, Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy Holidays and marami akong giveaway na surpresa para sa inyo. So, abangan nyo. It's your time, Merry, and see you on my next